Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I wanted to do a tag video called the luxury items that I couldn't live without tag. I was tagged by two very lovely ladies, Mel in Melbourne and Lala LV. I'm sure you guys have heard of Mel in Melbourne. She is such a gorgeous, gorgeous lady and her collection of Birkin is to die for. Thank you so much, babe, for tagging me. I love your channel. Also, thank you, Lala LV, for tagging me and for letting me know to do this tag. This tag was initially created by the lovely Eva in the city and we are supposed to choose six items uh, in the categories that she created. So the first category was handbags and I have narrowed down to these two handbags. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Mitsis and this is the Chanel Jumbo Flap and I have it in the single uh, classic flap. So this was circa 2009 and I bought this one in 2013. So I do have the original version in the, first, in the Pochette Mitsis. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know that I adore my Pochette Mitsis. It's these two bags are my top five bags in my collection and it was a little bit of a rivalry between these two and even though I've had this one for longer, I think I will go with the Chanel single flap in this video. Of course, it's not just because it is a Chanel bag even though that is a huge factor. Obviously, both bags could have been my first pick and I just chose this one just because ever since I got it this year, I just wanted to reach for it so often. Every time that I needed to go out, I just wanted to grab this bag. I find this bag to be so easy to use and so comfortable. Because it is a single flap, it has a very generous uh, opening. There is no double flap, the secondary flap to you know be in the way and there is so much space in this bag. Both bags actually fit quite a bit so I'm happy with both bags in terms of capacity. With this one I find the chain to be so beautiful and so comfortable which I was very surprised because I always thought that maybe the, the chain part, the metal part would not be comfortable but that is not the case at all. I do only wear this bag on the shoulder setting versus the crossbody setting because it would be way too long on me. It's so timeless and the leather, the caviar uh, is softer on this version. This is uh, the 13 series. I just love it. I think it goes well with any outfit, almost in any setting. I literally can wear this with jeans and t-shirts and I can probably pull it out you know, going to a wedding. So I love how versatile this bag is. And not saying that the Pochette Métis cannot, it actually can as well. But uh, with the Pochette Métis, what I didn't like about it is the strap. Uh, and also because I do have the original version, it tends to be uh, digging into my shoulder since it is quite stiff. If you've followed my channel for a while, you would have known that I was on the hunt for my dream uh, Chanel bag last year and I went through a lot of research and trying different bags and having to sell the boy bag that I bought and I even thought that the boy bag was my holy grail but turns out it didn't work out for me so when I got this one and I loved it so much and I loved reaching for it so much I knew that this was my holy grail Chanel bag and even though it is a pre-loved bag since uh, the Chanel single flap is no longer made in the jumbo size I still really love it. I feel that with a pre-love bag, as Jerusha always says, it is more um, carefree in a sense that you're not as so paranoid for using it. If I didn't have any of my other bags and I had this one, I feel like it would be enough. I would be able to get away with most situations and wear it in all occasions and I would still be very, very happy with it. The second category is SLG, small leather goods. And last week I posted my video on uh, comparing all my card holders and wallets. And you guys know that these two are my stable and I basically would not be able to live without these two. Between the two, I would have to choose my six key holder as the item that I cannot live without simply because this key holder has 
been so good to me. It is so hard wearing. LV in general just makes excellent small leather goods. If I didn't have any SLG except this one, I would have been just as happy because this one is basically all I need to step out of the door just because they hold my keys and I also have a couple cards in the back. So I can easily put my ID and a credit card in the back. I have my keys to lock the door and I'm good to go. I can throw it around in my bag. The wear and tear has been excellent. I've had it since 2013. And I really love the configuration of the six key holder because it has six different hooks from left to right. So you can really put your keys and remember which key is for which door just based on the order. Um, the size is just perfect because it fits cards in the back. It is a flap closure and you guys all know that I love the flap closure. Anything with a flap closure bag wise, SLG wise, I love. I just love the snapping and unsnapping of the button. It just gives me so much pleasure when I use this and it's so easy to find this little item inside any of my bags. So I highly, highly recommend this item and it is definitely my favorite SLG. In terms of shoes, I'm sure you guys will know by now that I'm all about comfort, practicality. I don't like to bend down to tie my shoelaces, so I would only choose shoes that are easy to slip on and easy to wear and hard wearing and super comfortable and have support in them. And so when I think of shoes, there is no other brand than Echo shoes that come in mind. Echo is not a luxury brand per se, but their shoes is nothing short of luxury in my opinion. It's luxury in comfort, in quality. So I did pick this pair of pumps. These are my newest Echo pumps. They are kind of like a wedge pump, I guess. So there's a bit of a wedge heel. It is, I think, about one and a half inch or two at most. I love this height because it gives me a little bit of lift, but it's not so high that I cannot walk in them. They're not super glamorous or anything, but they are dressy enough to wear with, you know, skinny jeans and dresses. Their soles are super well made. This is all leather, by the way. Echo is also the first company, one of the first companies to introduce PU injected soles. I have tons of dress shoes from them. I have golf shoes from them, walking shoes and boots. I would be really happy to be the brand's ambassador if I could be. Echo is also known to be one of the most eco-friendly, one of the best leather tannery in the world, and they supply leather to many top uh, luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton, Coach, Michael Kors, Alexander Wang. Everything is tested in the labs to make sure that there are no harmful chemicals. So that is such a big plus, and I'm such a big fan of the company and of their shoes, obviously. The next category is jewelry. I have been a fan of Swarovski crystal costume jewelry for many, many years. I used to wear them to work every single day. So I did rotate my earrings every single day at work and I'm sure I was known for my Swarovski jewelry at the time. When I turned 30, I decided to treat myself to fine jewelry. So I started buying fine gold with you know, the ruby settings and the sapphire settings and I was really, really into those special crystal semi-precious stones. But last year or more recently, I discovered Chanel costume jewelry and completely fell in love with them. Even though they're costume jewelry, they just make me feel extra special and I love how they make an outfit and also they, they are statement pieces for me so whether they're fine jewelry or not, it doesn't matter to me because I just love them just as much. So for this category, I was gonna choose between earrings or brooches but i will go with brooches this time simply because i feel like this brooch especially this is my very first brooch that i bought in my hawaii trip on my birthday last year even though i am a fan of earrings in general and a fan of the cc earrings i feel like if i had to choose one i would go with this brooch just because this one is extra special for me and it really goes and makes every outfit um, I would just be just as happy without earrings and having this brooch. It's so versatile, it's so beautiful. And they don't cost that much in a sense that they don't even cost as much as fine jewelry, but they really bring you that sense of satisfaction and they really make you look so pretty and feel so special.
I'm actually quite minimalist with makeup and I don't wear perfume. I only use organic or very natural products. So I even avoid the conventional brands of makeup, including the luxury ones. Even though I know it is very difficult to avoid all the harmful chemicals in even in the natural makeup range or natural uh, skincare range, I feel that uh, just by moving towards that direction, I avoid 95% of all the harmful chemicals. And so uh, for this category, I would have to go with uh, my blush, simply because on a daily basis, I actually don't really wear that much makeup. Uh, I can get away with just curling my lashes and applying a little bit of blush. And the reason why I pick blush is because I am also anemic and I have quite a dull complexion in general and not very lively skin as in I look pretty pale or green sometimes so having a little bit of blush on my cheeks really does bring up my cheeks and also the liveliness, the livelihood on my face and therefore I choose this blush this is by the brand Gabriel and Gabriel is one of the nicer natural organic brands I have it in the Gabriel color rose as you can see the list of ingredients is quite clean and this is the color it looks really pretty it uh, kind of reminds me of the Tarte Exposed the final category is miscellaneous extra so basically any item outside of handbags and jewelry and whatnot that you can think of that uh, you can't live without and so I was debating between my LV denim shawl or my belts and I decided to go with belts and I pick my Hermes belt and not just because it comes in an orange box even though that is quite nice and this is my Hermes Constance uh, H buckle in the silver um, brushed silver and just a reversible black and orange leather and I picked this one just because I feel that with the silver buckle and also I did choose it in the 24 millimeter so it is narrower uh, I like this one because I feel like this one is a little bit more versatile. I like that both colors are solid colors, so it really is easy to match with any outfit. Uh, the black just goes with everything, and the bright orange just is more uh, summery, I suppose, and also just uh, gives a nice pop of color. And I just love this width because it goes really well with pants, jeans, and dresses. I just have to go in and punch in extra holes to make it uh, fit my waist. Also, I love the factor that it's silver. It's just can be still very casual, but also very dressy. It was very lovely and very fun to do this tag. So I thank Mel and Melbourne and Lala LV again for tagging me. And it is my turn to tag some people. So I will tag the following ladies. Pei from Diary of Bagaholics. Kat from Kat L. Siras from Sira Dong. Siv from Inside Siv's Closet, Kiaris from LV Lovers CC, Mini from Minx for All, Gina from Gina Christina, June from Hey June, and as well as Nastasia from Nastasia M53. Woo, that's a lot of people. I know some of them have already been tagged, but I just thought I would mention them again. And so yeah, I hope you guys would be able to do this tag as well. I definitely had lots of fun doing mine. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. This is Amy, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!